How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. And uh, today this is part three to the welding table, fixture plate, adjusting angle mechanism. So what we're going to be talking about is the lower part of the angle adjuster and you'll see that in the little purple spot there and we'll we'll change over to a full screen of the uh, CAD modeling and just run through the quickly of the parts that we're going to make this is a little bit better for you guys it's a little closer so this purple part and this whole mechanism that passes through the column is uh, what I want to make today I uh, we should come pretty close to getting this done. Uh, I might not get to the uh, end piece, but uh, we're going to shoot for it. So uh, let me get rid of the stuff we don't really need to see. And uh, so this is the entire mechanism here, and we can swivel around, take a look at it. And we've got all this stuff built up here, all this top and the rod. Uh, this is all made. Uh, I did not make an end cap for the rust. Uh, I don't know if I'll, I might make a little fancy one or something later on. But this is the part we uh, want to uh, uh, tackle today. So we'll get rid of all this stuff so you don't uh, aren't seeing everything there. There we go. We'll concentrate on this. And let's break, we'll, we'll break it down real quick. Um, to uh, what we uh, will be doing here. There we go. So first off, it's going to be a tube, and inside there'll be a bore for a bearing we have to do. And on one end, on this end, the bore is already there, and there's already a bearing in place. Uh, let's see here. We can put some bearings. The bearings back in there, and there'll be two bearings sitting in there, something like that. Okay. Uh, then what we have is the uh, draw, what I call the draw plug, this piece right here, and this, uh, well, it's, I got it set up for rotation only, and, and this will sit in here, and uh, the bearings are just for really for guiding. Uh, the end piece over here will press a little bit on the center part of, of, this, of the bearing. But this one is just a guide, and we'll be pulling this with the draw bar, like so, uh, to pull this tight against the tube that will be over the outer part. This works just like a snug uh, for your dial indicator and such, right? And the rod will be passing through here. There we go. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't want in this view it doesn't want to put it in there but it, it does go in there <laughs> uh, uh, so then we will have the like I said the tube will be on the outside uh, then we have a draw nut that will be out here and now this is threaded uh, so you when you turn this uh, it pulls on the draw bar and pulls the center draw plug and tightens against this this will be pushing against the tube now we'll, we'll put that in there and the tube will weld into the column. So we'll put the we'll call the column back in there. And we'll put a just a small a small weld here on each side. That, that's all it will need. It won't need very much. It's just so it doesn't shift all around and and turn. We don't want it to turn. And then on the end out here, what I've decided is to make a make a piece here with a hex and we'll just socket head cap screw that onto this. I'm going to put a 1032 pan head type screw in the end and we'll have this little uh, disc uh, washer with a slot in it and so it will slide on the screw and that will just stop a wrench from falling off. It would, It'll be really easy just to kind of push that up and slip the wrench off and things like that. So I'm going to use a ratcheting uh, end wrench, uh, a short one for now, uh, unless I, I might make a nice little hand wheel type setup, but it can't be very big is the problem. Uh, so we'll see how the wrench thing works out for now and we'll go from there. But uh, I don't anticipate taking a lot of pressure to clamp this. This is a fairly large and uh, stout rod. 
it should grab pretty pretty easily uh, and cause enough friction that it will not shift we're going to try to make all those parts today control the tilt on the wheel and uh, see if we can get this to there we go uh, there we go so it, it rotates like, like that when you move the table and the tube doesn't turn that's the whole idea and then we'll be able to cinch it uh, on this end here cinch this tight and it shouldn't take more than oh I would say a quarter turn uh, it was all it will take thank and you for watching and Merry Christmas to everybody I hope you got your green uh, RR in the shop uh, sweatshirt <laughs> so uh, anyway if you want to support the channel there's uh, shirts and t-shirts and sweatshirts and uh, coffee cups I think uh, in, in the merchant bar below the below uh, you know between the description and the video uh, on or for my patreon site and uh, join me for the journey to add on to the shop so every little bit helps and thank you for supporting me and we have a lot of good videos I think to come in the future let's get on with it and start right off course. with the tube portion of it here and the tube I'm using is is a DOM poop tubing, but it's a this is a roller from a treadmill. Okay, and it had bearings on each end, and this is one end that already has a bearing in it. Actually, it had it had two bearings in there. Well, I've taken one bearing, and we're going to put another bearing in here, about an inch and a quarter deep up in there. So we'll have two bearings. Uh, we'll just reuse this one. It's just going to be hand turning, so it's just, it's just, there's more of a guide to make it easy to turn. So we need to uh, bore this end out for that bearing. That'll, that'll be in. Face the tube off and clean it up a little bit. And then we have this another chunk of this same roller uh, for the snug part here. We'll use another piece of that, and then we'll make this out of solid stock. And then the shaft for the for the roller was three quarter shaft and we're going to use a chunk of that for this part here and then we'll have to make this part. This uh, has a little bit of a lip uh, on here. I'm just going to cut that off a little bit. Maybe put a little chamfer. Actually I'll put a little chamfer on that edge inside. Uh, I'm not going to cut this anymore. Just chamfer that and uh, just kind of polish this up a little bit. They knurled that inside there a little bit to put when they put the bearings in, it looks like. But that's okay. We're our piece on here isn't gonna rub even on that. It's gonna be centered on the uh, bearings. This will be the, the hand wheel end. Go in an inch and a quarter. Then we're going to put a stop on over here. And we'll set that to zero. Now we're, we've calibrated our depth. Now we'll make a cut. First cut will be just a calibrated tool. All right, we have about 48 total thousandths to come off. That's about it. So 
not too much. Start cutting really nice. Perfect as far as a rough cut goes. So uh, I dialed in 15, that's what I took. So, or 30 total. And then we need to do another 10. Oh yeah, we'll just, we'll just, that'll just, that'll just tap in real nice. That would just go right in there. I mean, I'll have to tap it in, but it's, that's what I wanted. It's about a half a thou roughly. So we'll just, we'll chamfer this edge a little bit. That little chamfer will help it. Just help it center up and go in there. Yep. There, all polished up. Ready for the bearing. Well, uh, just we'll clean that inside out a little bit and pop that bearing in there. Now we're going to take the small tube. We're just going to uh, face it and clean it up uh, to length. That's all we really need to do. I might a little buff the inside up out. This is a piece of uh, hydraulic cylinder rod, two inches in diameter, and we're going to make our tightening uh, drawbar plug uh, out of this. It's chrome over, but we're going to cut it all off.
Now this has a sharp edge on it, so it's a little grabby. I'm gonna, I'll put a chamfer on there. There, just a little emery, see? It was only, bare, no, probably not even half a thousandth really, but look at that. That's what I want, I want that. That's the kind of fit I want. I cannot really feel any play, almost whatsoever. That's the fit I wanted. And my final cut was 43 thousandths deep. Knowing your inserts, can, if you're using inserts, uh, really helps to know what, what works for that insert as far as depth to cut and feed rates. You, you have to learn your inserts. And uh, this, that, was, that's, that came out absolutely awesome. Once you get through the chrome, you're, it's usually pretty easy. This tool won't reach all the way through. I'll take it over the bandsaw and cut it off. Well, I just cut it off. The half inch was left uh, in the center. Now I'm just going to machine this off. There we go. All threaded. That will slip. It's going to slip in there just like that. That's what you'll see out there. Came out awesome. Then on this end, this end of the bearing, it's not in there yet. This end will be over that. And the shaft will hold it concentric and the bearings. So that's what you're gonna see right there. And we'll have a cross hole through that. I cut off a chunk of the shafting for the drawbar and we're just gonna put it in here. We're gonna do one of the threads. I'll do the, uh, probably the long thread. Uh, first and then on the other end we we'll cut this off and we'll put a short thread on is double depth of thread 81,000 so we'll go in there about 40 and we'll just we're gonna just test fit it on on here that's uh, the one piece we made Still have some dirt in there, but I think that's going to be basically it. Oh, that fits wonderful.
There we go. Little shaft. This is going to be on the handle end. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the handle part yet, but this is the part that will you'll tighten to draw the draw bar. And I've already drilled and threaded threaded it. So we're going to turn this. We're going to have about a 50 thousandths one inch shoulder, so that will press against the bearing, uh, the center of the bearing, and then the back. Then it'll come back a little bit, less than half an inch, and then another part. Okay, saw it off, and we're just gonna clean that up. Looks nice, looks nice, should work.